A lot of stuff going on inside, and we are joined once again by Mets General Manager Sandy Alderson, kind enough to share a second segment with us. And, and this wow. is a fan segment, okay, Sandy? Fan so segment. we have Twitter, Facebook questions. Uh, we're going to try to get to as many as, as you guys sent in as humanly possible. We start, Sandy, with at Tricky16 on Twitter. <laughs> I'm glad he had to say that. Not That's two, two whys. Uh, how many games do you see David Wright playing this year? This is starting to feel a lot like talk radio, you know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I think that's very difficult to say. I think David is committed to playing as much as he possibly can. I think given the last year or so, we've got to be prepared for him to uh, be less than full time. Um, you know, I quoted a number last year of 120. He got mad at me for limiting his uh, <laughs> his uh, year that way. But uh, so, again, I think we have to be realistic. Um, but uh, um, I'd love to see him play in 120 plus this year. So 162 ish is what you're going to go on the record with for well for David. We don't we don't write anybody in for 162. <laughs> uh, so OK at Jeffrey Tinker. That's a relatively normal name says uh, Reyes is huge in that leadoff spot. Do you plan on having him in the lineup every day and if so how. Well I think it's, it, it is great to have him in that leadoff spot. Um, love for his on base percentage to go up a little bit. But that's great having that speed. I'm sure he'll be in the uh, lineup quite often. He'll be at third base uh, in, uh, I'm sure, some cases. We're going to probably try him in the outfield during spring training. Uh, he can play short. He can play second. There's going to be plenty of opportunity for uh, for Jose to be in the lineup, and I look to, to him to be, you know, somebody that plays uh, substantially all the time, if not uh, all the time. Sandy, I just want to follow up on that quickly because you spoke a little today in our in our previous media session with you about player versatility and and Reyes is certainly someone that can play a litany right. of positions. But you had mentioned that it's going to be a real push in the organization as well to have players at the minor league level pick up gloves at different spots as well. Do you see that uh, that is something where the game is going in that direction, player versatility is becoming more and more important? I think it's uh, <clears throat> becoming more important. I think as, uh, as teams have started moving more to a platoon situation, I think the, the versatility of positions plays into that. So it's not just about hitting against right or left-handed pitching, but uh, also moving around the diamond somewhat. I think uh, clubs have begun to understand the value of a guy like Ben Zobrist. Uh, I know Neil Walker has said look I'll play almost anywhere this year if you'd like me to including the outfield uh, and I think he's doing that for the good of the team but I think he also looks at it as uh, you know a positive from his standpoint given the fact he's currently only con under contract for a year so I think that <clears throat> player versatility is in a broad sense is is uh, beginning to permeate the game and we need to anticipate that at the minor league level so it's easy to fall into a situation where a guy's playing short every day or second every day or what have you. Um, it's comfortable for the manager, it's comfortable for the player, but ultimately at the major league level, the value may be in that versatility. Good example for us, um, Ahmed Rosario, who's you know, probably our top prospect, terrific shortstop, but at Vegas next year, he needs to play. Uh, I mean, he could play third base if uh, uh, something happens and Reyes needs to play another position. Could Rosario play third? Could he play short? Could he play second? Um, he's a great athlete. Could he play in the outfield? I mean, there's certain limits, but at the same time, when you're polishing off a player, there's no reason not to try uh, him at other spots. Sandy, another question from Anthony on Facebook. It's about Darno. Uh, what makes you think Travis will stay healthy or hit this upcoming season? Well, health is a difficult thing to predict, and in his case, uh, maybe impossible to predict. But um, at some point, you know, the dice have got to turn in our favor. Um, one of the reasons we signed Rene Rivera recently to a guaranteed contract is just to give us a little more depth there. Um, right now, we, we have three very qualified uh, major league catchers. Um, in terms of improving, um, you know, one of the positive things uh, has been over the last week, um, Travis went to Arizona, worked with Kevin Long, and worked with uh, our new catching coach, Glenn Sherlock. Very enthusiastic, very uh, um, upbeat, and I think that, uh, you know, Travis is committed to uh, improvement. And, you know, if you go back to 2015 and 
certainly there were some injuries in that year as well. But when he played offensively, he was terrific. And um, we just need more consistency out of him. And that, that means even in terms of his swing and everything else as opposed to uh, the results. We need, to, we need to smooth out the process for him. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm confident that he'll be better. And as a practical matter, there aren't a lot of great upgrades out there for, you know, um, for players at that spot. And uh, in fact, we've had we've we've had hits from other clubs on our catching and our catching at the major league level and our catching, you know, at the minor league level. So, um, you know, we understand that it hasn't been great at that position over the last couple of years, but it ain't great anywhere for the most part. Well, Sandy, that was great. Great stuff right there. Thank you so okay. much for giving us yep. a few minutes okay. tonight. Great.